Hello everyone, how you doing? Well, today is a sad day. It is February 4th, and today we received some very sad news that Maurice White has passed away. And I wish I had done this uh, earlier <laughs> in the VC. I wish I didn't wait till Maurice White had passed away. But I just want to quickly go through my Earth, Wind & Fire collection because that band uh, meant a lot to me. Uh, Maurice White was one of my all-time favorite musical heroes. Uh, and the guy was a big inspiration to me. I, that, to me, he was music. So his passing uh, was very sad for me. So in no particular order, I'm just gonna show some of my Earth, Wind & Fire records and a few other things. So in the background, we're actually listening to one of my favorite Earth, Wind & Fire songs, That's the Way of the World. A lot of people's favorite, actually. And it's off of this album, it's their greatest hits, volume one. This is the half-speed mastering uh, cut of the album with the really cool gatefold of a lot of different pictures over the years. And, um, man, hard to believe Maurice White is gone. Hard to believe he's gone. God. Anyway. So let, let's go through the, the, the vinyl here. Uh, uh, head to the Sky, of course, has that classic song, Keep Your Head to the Sky, which is such a great tune. Um, the early albums of Earth and Fire were really good as well, and uh, this is one of my favorites. I, I really love this album, so really cool. Another one, uh, Open Your Eyes, Devotion, Mighty Mighty, was, is on this album. Really good album, sensational record. They're getting ready to start. They're getting ready to write the hits on this one, and um, well, there's a couple of hits on it. But you could sense that you know the best was yet to come with the first two albums I've shown. So really good. Jumping ahead a little bit in the, the order these were released. Earth, Wind, and Fire, Spirit. This is when they were having hits. This is a good album as well. Uh, I love this album. It has the song Getaway. And uh, the song Spirit it has a really good vocal performance by Philip Bailey. So, um, so Spirit, one of my favorites. One of my favorites is the spin on vinyl. Uh, this is a really good album. Ah, the live record, half live record, half studio uh, record, um, Gratitude. Uh, I have to thank my, my older brother for introducing me to the, the music of Earth and Fire, but especially for this record. He had this on 8-track back in the 70s, and we used to listen to this album a lot. I love, I still to this day love New World Symphony. New World Symphony to me is just, just a fantastic song. It has Can't, Can't Hide Love, studio version of it. Um, it has a really good live version of Reasons on it. Phila Bailey, great singer, but they really proved how great of a band they were on that album. Fantastic. And this was probably the crossover album for them, because uh, there were so many hits on this. Uh, That's the Way of the World. The big hits on here, of course, is the title track and uh, Shining Star were some good songs on here. Man, this, this, was, this, was, this album really hit hard. This made them stars, pretty much, on radio and uh, touring made them stars. So this was a very important album in the band's history. Uh, one of my favorite albums, I have two copies of this, um, I Am. This is the half-speed mastering version of I Am, which just sounds unbelievable. And I have just a regular stereo pressing of this album. Great album. Besides having Boogie Wonderland, which is too disco for my taste, but still not a bad song, actually. It's still pretty good. But In the Stone is on here. And that is a great song from Earth, Wind & Fire, In the Stone. Um, that This one's worth uh, dig, picking up if you ever go digging. And of course, a great ballad, After the Love is Gone. Great vocal performance on Maurice from Maurice on that on that track. A really beautifully written song. This whole album, pretty much, is just a, a great album, and uh, I'm really happy to have it in half speed mastering because it sounds 
just unbelievably good. Just unbelievably good. I, I love this album to death. Love it so much I'd have two copies. Ah, and this is the one that started it all for me. Uh, my brother also had this on a track. Uh, I think when this album came out, this is called All in All. Uh, when the, um, the album came out, I must have been seven years old. And I remember listening to it on headphones at, on my family stereo. And this was the first album of music to connect with me as a kid. Um, I absolutely loved the music on this album. I, as a kid, I could listen to the whole thing <laughs> on a track and and not, you know, not get tired of one, listening to one song. I absolutely adore this album, uh, and it was a, like I said, it was the first album to connect with me. Period. <laughs> uh, to me, this was music. Uh, this is what music was to me. Um, it didn't get any better than this album. It didn't get any better than this band when. I was just a kid. I wasn't even 10 years old yet, and this album really, really spoke to me. And I spent a little bit more time on this album because it meant so much to me. Serpentine Fire, Reasons. Some great songs on here. I love that gatefold. And all these symbols supposed to mean everything is under one God, is what the message is on that gatefold, the picture of the gatefold. Just beautiful, beautiful artwork on this album. Uh, goes really great with the music because the music is, is fantastic on this and uh, it's one of my favorite albums of all time without a doubt so love that one so all in all I even got on CD you got on a cassette I should look for the old a truck that you used to have I think my uncle has it now but anyway moving on um, two copies of this uh, Rays I think this came on the early 80s it has that big song on it, big hit, uh, Let's Groove tonight, which was a big song here in the hood back in the early 80s, <laughs> big hit for Earth, Wind and Fire, so this is my stereo copy, uh, this is, well, of course, stereo, but in half speed mastering, just a uh, great sounding album, uh, besides Let's Groove tonight, I, I had enough, I think it's a really good song on here, and Changing Times. I want to be with you. You are a winner. Uh, I've spun this album many, many times here in the music room, bedroom, whatever you want to call it. Um, this album always picks me up if I'm pissed off or not feeling so happy, as well as all their music does. It, it just makes me feel good, and this album makes me feel good. It, it just, it's just infused with positive energy, and you just can't help it turning that pissy frown upside down when you hear this this music really good. Uh, one 12 inch single from Earth, Wind & Fire, System of Survival uh, from the album Touch the World which came out in the late 80s. This would be, this was a good song. I love System of Survival. It was a good jam. This is more in the late 80s. Uh, they're experimenting way too much with drum machines and synthesizer and sequencing. They don't sound like the Earth, Wind & Fire of old, but this was still a good jam. So, uh, System of Survival, System of Survival, 12 inch single. And it came from this album right here, Touch the World. It was the tour in support of this album. It was the first time I saw Earth, Wind & Fire in Sacramento. And what a great show that was. Uh, one of the best concerts I've been to in my life. Um, still pretty much the, the original lineup and still the classic over-the-top production with pyrotechnics and magic show kind of towards the end of the concert. Uh, the way the band does it up in the in the good stage theatrics and um, you know over-the-top production and great music, great musicianship too. This is just a fantastic album and the tour was was stellar so good memories of that album. And Greatest Hits Volume 2. Um, something I haven't spun in a while. I, I like to listen to the first one, which is what we're hearing here. The more of the 70s era, though, there's a lot of great songs on here. Fantasy, Let's Groove, Devotion, Serpentine Fire, Love's Holiday. Uh, some great songs on here as well, but uh, Volume 1 is, is my all-time favorite. But this is not bad. Well, that's going to do it for the vinyl. Let me show you a CD I really love. <clears throat> this is a Earth, Wind, Fire Live in Rio. 
on the CD. This is recorded, I would say, 77 or 78. The album, I think they were recording or uh, touring with I Am. So, oh, actually, it might have been 79. And um, let me just show you the, the artwork on the disc here. And then we got the band photo on the inside. And they were still wearing the really colorful clothing. <laughs> But still a good, a great live CD. Just to show you the um, the energy and the emotion they put into their live performances. This is a great CD. Look it up on Amazon. It's hard to find the stores, but if you find it, man, this is such a awesome live CD. It's good live recording. Um, for all us hardcore Earthman Fire fans, this is like the golden years of the band. They sound like a great live band on this. A couple of uh, DVDs and I'll get out of your hair. Uh, Earthman and Fire in Concert. This was recorded in Oakland, California, uh, 81, I believe. This originally was aired on HBO, I believe, in 1982. And. As a kid, I saw that broadcast on HBO, and I thought it was one of the best in-concert videos I've ever seen in my life. It was that good. It was fantastic. And um, I must have seen it every time it repeated on HBO. I must have seen that concert a billion times. Uh, they were supporting the album Rays, and Let's Groove Tonight was the big single of the times. This is just an amazing concert. Unfortunately, it's only an hour long, but they really got the best cuts on there. What you like can truly be. All right, and the last one I'm gonna show you is a documentary, Earth, Wind, and Fire, Shining Stars. Or is it a star? No, Shining Stars. <laughs> and this is just a documentary of how they put the band together, how Maurice White put the band together, and the whole history of the, of the group. The ups and the downs of Earth, Wind & Fire, how they reformed and started putting on newer shows in the late 90s, 2000s, all the way to now. Really great document, uh, documentary. I mean, they go back to the, when Earth, when, uh, Maurice White was barely learning to become a drummer and a musician. The vision he had of putting the band together, because he started off as a jazz drummer and playing in a trio and he had this vision of R&B and jazz and gospel influenced music but for young people which was something completely different than what was going on at the time so uh, very good documentary on how he put the band together uh, how they found their sound and their identity and how they rose to fame and how they lost it <laughs> how they broke up and then got back together. A very good documentary. I watch this a lot. And he does a, and an extra feature. He does a critique on, uh, well, not a critique, but memories of all of most of the uh, Earth Wind Fire albums, and just sort of gives his thoughts and memories on each record. And pretty cool. Well, that's it. A short and sweet video. Um, like I said, Maurice White was one of my musical heroes. Earth Wind Fire still is. My, one of my all-time favorite bands. Um, to me, they are music. <laughs> music doesn't get any better than, than them. They are amazing. And um, I put them up there with Zeppelin and Rolling Stones and Genesis and all the big bands that I like to listen to. They, they are um, just a powerhouse of a band and um, big loss now that he's no longer with us. I really admired him, so hearing the news of him passing was, um, was very sad news to hear. Well, that's going to do it. Um, hope everyone's doing good, and if you have any memories of Earth, Wind & Fire, please share them with me in the comments. I'm, I would really love to read those. Anyway, take care everyone, and see you at the next video.